Welcome back to Active Vernon. I thought I'd tell you about a hilly half marathon route I mapped out on Google and ran in September 2020. I call it the Vernon Valley View Half. I'll describe the route in just a moment, but first I wanted to show you some pictures I took along the way because the views of this route are stupendous. I started in the fog, but by about six kilometers the fog was gone and the sun was shining. In this picture I'm looking at Bella Vista on the north side of the valley, and when I got to the opposite side around kilometer 15, this is what I saw when I looked back over the commonage. Let me tell you more about this hilly route. It's mostly on pavement, with the exception being a section of the Grey Canal Trail in Bella Vista. This was the only part of my run without much elevation change. As I mapped this route using Google Maps, I made note of various locations along the way where I would check and confirm with my Garmin Forerunner. I calculated at Sierra Drive I had to be at about 18.22 kilometers, and when I got to the yellow gate there and checked my watch, it was exactly 18.22 kilometers. Vernon is about 370 meters above sea level. On this run, I was mostly in the blue-green area of this elevation heat map. At home, I'm about 390 meters and climbed over the next six kilometers up to 525 meters, a difference of 135 meters or equivalent to about 40 stories. Then I dropped down to the lake at about 343 meters and then back up again to 480 meters a difference of 137 meters, or about 41 and a half stories. If you run this route, the most challenging part is where to get onto the Grey Canal Trail. At the intersection of Bella Vista Road and Okanagan Hills Boulevard, go west the distance of about six streetlights, and you'll see this steep path. At the top, you'll see this path, and you'll also see this beautiful view. If you have any questions about this half marathon route, please shoot me a comment. Thanks for watching.